Welcome everybody, episode 37 of the Rodcast. Uh, we're live today with our main guy, Mr. Ezekiel Lacey. Let's give him a round. Uh, it is also his birthday, so another year, another blessing. So love to see it. Uh, shout out his Aunt G. She's letting us uh, use her spot today. We're in, uh, where are we at? What do you mean, Brookshire? Brookshire, Texas. Yeah. So a little family event going on. They're about to get wild for Zeke. Uh, maybe a couple ultras, some barbecue, you know, just a good, just a good Saturday overall. So, uh, uh, oh, also you guys see back from the dead, we got Mr. Jemiah. Let's give him a shout. What's good, everybody? Oops. Oh. Everyone's been asking about you, man. They're like, where's Jemiah? Where's he been? I'm like, you know, he's, he's getting better. I'm, I'm just, I'm just living, man. Yeah. Just he's living. just, he's just living. So. No, we got a fun one. Uh, probably won't talk about a lot of current main events. Uh, I want this episode to be more about our friendship, how we met in the great state of Kansas. Oh. Um, <laughs> not really, but no, just, <laughs> just, just more of our, our story of how we all linked up and synced. Well, we can start off with y'all two first. Start at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, so man. first off, Mr. Mr. Zeke, who are you yeah. and how do we know each other? Yeah, my name is Ezekiel. From Seattle, Washington. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Yeah, we got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Seattle, check. Washington. Um, yeah, born and raised out there. Um, yeah, went to school pretty much almost throughout my whole life there and then moved to Dallas my senior year of high school. Met my boy Jemai here mm -hmm. uh, at our prep school in Dallas. Uh, stayed out there for two years. Um, and then from there, went to Kansas. Yeah. Met Aaron after freshman year. So Aaron started our sophomore, me and yeah, my yeah. sophomore year. Yeah. Um, Forget met that. Aaron. Um, and then it was, you know. Pretty much up from there. It was, it was you know, some roller yeah. coaster. It was, oh, it was yeah. Up, oh, yeah. Because now I think about it. Guy, you know, me and Zeke. And then, me and Zeke weren't always yeah. like this. We. We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> we, you know yeah, we. We'll, we'll but, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But, uh. Um, yeah, yeah, so Seattle, Washington, I live out there now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I work at Seattle Children's Hospital. I just uh, actually transitioned roles, but I worked on their psychiatric unit at Seattle Children's. I was there for a year and a half. Just got hired onto a new position there. Actually, I don't even know if I told y'all, but... Let's, yeah, you told me. You yeah, told me you had the final interview. Let's yeah, get... That That deserves a shout real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got, yes, sir. Congrats, brother. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You, you I mean, I'm not congratulating you because I'm not surprised <laughs> at this point. You know what I mean? Thank you. So, um, yeah, I got a new job within the hospital. I'm working on their uh, behavior support team. So, basically, like, responding to all the different codes across the hospital. Like, okay. more focus on, like, the mental health codes, um... And like situations that require physical management, unfortunately, like if kids are yeah getting aggressive, you know, assaultive, whatever that might look like. Yeah. Um, or sometimes they just need help with like, you know, like uh, blood draws, lab draws, or okay. whatever the situation is. I'm on that team now, so had two days of training, um, then hopped on a plane the next morning. There we go. Great state of Texas right. now. Let's go. I want to ask you, because I don't think I've ever asked you. What got you into like really focusing on uh, the mental health aspect? Yeah, um, to be honest, I showed up to Sterling, a uh, <laughs> physical therapy major. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to do PT. Yeah, uh, so we, were, we took some classes. Yeah, we were, we were Shout out Pete. Yeah. He's a, mean, he, yeah. He was someone uh, I loved learning yeah, from. Yeah. yeah, the classes were very interesting. I actually never had a class with him, but hmm. um, yeah, me and Jemai had some classes freshman year, PT stuff. Uh, man, we got to, what was that? I don't even remember the class. Structural anatomy. Yeah. Okay. And just like. That's where it lost you? It lost, I mean, like the, the concepts and like learning all the parts of the body didn't really lose. Mm -hmm. It was like, wait, like you're telling me I have to touch these people. Like. Yeah. You know, like sweaty athletes. Like, yeah. I was like that's not actually for me. So, you know. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, swap to uh, psychology. Honestly, I went home over spring break freshman year. Um, I was like, I don't really know what's next. Like, I don't think PTs for me anymore. Um, I was taking a psychology course at the time. Um, actually, I think we were general psychology yeah. we were in that class. Man, yeah, okay. Yeah, so um, yeah, so I was taking that class. Really enjoying it. Really enjoyed the professor. Um, oh, he was cool. Yeah, was it Todd. No, no, it was a uh, Doctor Mel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Was okay. He was yeah. Really cool. He was really chill. Good character. Uh, really chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and people just make sense to me. Like interacting with people, 
um, I mean, it just it just makes sense, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's here we are. Yeah. Working in psych. Sweet. And you love it. I do. I do really like working with people. The job that I work now. Um, I don't know if well the job that I did work. I don't know if it was like sustainable for like long term career. Okay, it was just to get it's your foot in the door tight. Or for psych, this this next job is like another like resume builder. Like there we go. Moving up the ladder a little bit. Um, I like it. But yeah, uh, definitely going back to school is in the future for me. Um, probably, I don't I don't know a degree actually specifically, but want to do counseling and therapy with people. So yeah, that's where we're at. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. That's well, let's start off with a. Uh, how you two met because I've, I've heard a lot of these CYM stories and I really want to know was it true two bedroom nine people living in one like what what's going on do you, you want to take that over do we have nine I do we had nine nine people nine living in a two bedroom there was nine there was three in yours there was three in mine four. and then there was uh was, was two, and James two in the other two one and then there was five. there was five other people living in the living room on the wow there was probably like yeah. a couple nights like before road trips or something no but th- no but there was like legit nine people living there because they had to take the, the couch cushions and put them on the floor <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> yeah and then they had the pull out couch as the bed oh, we helped the boy move and he yes gave us the couch. he gave us the couch and we had the pull out couch so you guys love basketball that much to put yourself in this position <sighs> It was more of a, a opportunity because <laughs> so, after high school, like we was like, it was, well, for me, at least it, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. it was either that or nothing. So it was more for, you know, just to get an opportunity to play at the next level. Cause that's really what I wanted to do. Yeah. Had to make it out. Yeah. So vice, I had, vice versa with you. Same thing. Mm, oh man. Uh, just to be completely honest, like a lot of reflecting sense, like CYM days and even college, but like. I don't think that I loved basketball like a couple months in the CYM. Like I was just doing it to, That's what I was to gonna, get something out of it. Were, was that like the only reason that could like put you in college, you think, was playing basketball? Because that's how I always thought with me. Like I was like, the only way I'll go to school is if I'm playing basketball or just doing anything active. Well, this guy had like a 3.8 GPA. Oh, wow. I, I, so he I, could, I had a 2.1. So he could have went. Well. Yeah, that's what I was saying. High school, 2.1 GPA. Then I went to college, 3.5, 3.4, something like that. I was like, yeah, you know, ain't the same A-Rod. Yeah, I'll tell you that. No, um, yeah, I did have good grades. Thank you for shouting me out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, definitely uh, if basketball wasn't there, I mean, I still would have like went to school, like academic scholarship in some sort of way. Um, yeah. I mean, Sterling treated me well, like academically, like got a, you know, a number of recognitions you know yeah upon graduating in the honors program dean's there we list, go honors role. now you flexing on me a little okay i, I made the dean's list twice <laughs> <laughs> you know outstanding male graduate you know class of 21 let's go so, let's go you know um yeah so yeah honestly like after high school or that year first year cym like i don't think i love basketball anymore but like i was in it and like i didn't want to quit yeah type situation so, so you were just one of those i'm i'm here let's let's get it we're doing it and like you know i was good Could yeah have been better like i think mental was like the biggest struggle for me basketball you yeah probably attest to that. yeah is that the biggest thing y'all think of basketball it's not about the physicality obviously you have to have some sort of skill set yeah. but the biggest overall is that mindset oh no the mental thing the mental aspect yeah. of it is huge yeah like i'll tell you like e will tell you how many like times in games where I could not literally dribble a basketball or even make a layup because I was thinking just so mentally just mentally just gone. Like yeah. they give they were getting on me so much about like the episodes and like all that. So were they that bad? It was bad because I I didn't I I, I I that's what I was gonna say. So my mom I remember one time in select he had an episode like a little pouty episode, and um, my mom like checked that like she was like trying to talk to him and he was giving her the silent treatment. Him and my mom are very close. Yeah. So for her to see that, she was very like, excuse me? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But nothing crazy. Like, I've just seen him, like, you know, turn his shoulder and ignore everybody. But nothing bad, like, I'm sure you've seen. Yeah, that boy. So was he boy, punching walls he, or something? He would, or? <laughs> he, he would shut down. I will say, like, if it was in the middle of practice or game, he was shutting down. Too talented of a I'm player not, to do that. Yeah, I'm not here to expose my boy like that. You know, I'm trying to keep him professional. But. I mean, I, I, I would... Should I would expose myself. <laughs> I, I, it's it's more of a, like me. It was more of a 
I already know if I already know I'm doing something bad. Like if I know I'm doing bad, you don't need no one to remind you. You don't need. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't need you yelling at me, telling me how bad I'm doing to every, especially to a whole like scouts, yeah, scouts and crowd full of people. Like I don't need that. That's gonna make it even worse. That's making me even more mad. Yeah. And then like, it's just to a point where it's like, man, it's like I don't even care about basketball anymore. Yeah. Like I, I don't even care about playing anymore. Like I don't, I. Just took the fun out, basically. Yeah, I I almost quit basketball like back then. Dang, like it was. It Man, was, you wouldn't have been the all time leading scorer at Sterling College. I'll tell you that. I mean, yeah, but still, it's like, a good, it's a great achievement and accomplishment you did, yeah. especially for someone like. I mean, obviously, I've grew up with him, seeing him on B team to leading a college and all time leading scoring is pretty. It's a, it's it's a it was an awesome journey to see. Yeah, you know, made it out. Yeah, yeah, sure. but I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, like when when I first got, I I actually got kidnapped going to see why my brother. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he said that he said he said your brother like yeah you can you can tell it yeah, yeah. shout so, out Jamel old head so old soul ja- so my brother Jamel like I was just getting out of high school uh-huh. and I I had to offer to uh, Concordia okay nice D three in Austin yeah pricey so, uh, yeah very pricey very pricey and they didn't even uh, they don't offer at, uh, academics ath- athletic or yeah. And I was going to go there, but I wasn't going to get accepted because I had a low GPA. So mm-hmm. I had to go through a, a judicial admission mm-hmm. or whatever, you, however you call it, mm-hmm. where you have to go like interview and then like you have to like kind of sell yourself to why you should go to that school. OK, that's so, kind of nice, though. Yeah. So I had to do that. But like Jamel was telling me, he's like, dude, you need to come to Dallas. There's this coach that uh, <laughs> will will help you get to college oh, and no. like work you out and all this blah 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 and i was like well i already kind of got a, a you school. already said what you yeah. want to do like i already said i wanted to go to this school and i already took a visit and everything yeah so i was like yeah i want to go here like that's probably what i'm gonna do he was like okay well just go come up for three days and see how it is and if you don't like it you can go back and wow. if you do then you stay okay so and i was like okay so he comes back picks me up to go back to dallas and so the whole experience was me going to meet the coach. Okay. And then how'd that go? It was, it was good. Like, I didn't know what kind of person he was at that moment until like we actually started practicing and playing and a whole different switch, a whole different. Switch. <laughs> and then like, and then he remembers when you had to walk up to, there's like a, the apartments were set up to where there was like two doors down and you mm. walk up some stairs and there was another two doors. Okay. So, I walk upstairs and then he's like, we're talking and saying, introducing each other and blah, blah, blah. Go back downstairs to the other apartment where the players stayed. And so there was like, did it look sad? Dude, it looked sad. It was empty. <laughs> it was really empty. It was nothing but books and a couch. And then a, like a, one of those foldable tables with the chairs. Yeah. A card table. He kept, yeah. t- he kept telling me through CYM, you guys lived off beans and water. <laughs> yeah. That was grind month. <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you about grind month. The, yeah. the pantry was, empty oh we man had, we had uh some and noodles okay some beans some canned beans some canned corn we had some hot dogs and bread and, and bread. bread okay the ceo of bread right here i learned that. <laughs> i did and love me some bread some, some bread sandwiches <laughs> i love pb and j so the th- the thing was sorry to cut your story off with jamel we'll, oh, we'll yeah. but the thing was so when he was gone during that time he would I think you guys would get your phone like once a week. Once a week for thirty minutes. For thirty minutes, and he'd he'd give me a shout just telling me how he's doing, blah blah blah, and I'm like, "Sir, are you in jail or something? Like, why <laughs> why am I only getting like a limited time to talk to you? You know what I mean?" And and then he's trying to sell me to go there. I'm just like, "Buddy, thirty minutes on your phone, you can't even get out the house or or the apartment, you know." I was just trying to get you better, bro. It, well, thank you. You didn't. <laughs> it, it, it was it was one of those tough situations because like, like y'all's you mental got, had to be strong from that. Better at basketball. Yeah. Thing, but like I gained fifteen pounds in my first like three months. There. Okay. Like, we were like eating a lot, not during grind month so much, but <laughs> we were eating a lot. So like gaining weight, like doing weight stuff, like mm-hmm. getting better at basketball very quickly. I mean, I showed up to Dallas up. Uh, Six to like one fifty five mm. forward little guy, yeah, forward. I played forward in Seattle. I moved there. Coach had me do a couple of drills. He's like, "All right, start shooting some threes. Start shooting some threes." He's like, 
you got a pretty nice looking jumper. Yeah, you do. My, that was that was my shot shooter, mechanics right? coach. My, yeah, true. <laughs> I was like, Yikes. Doing <laughs> Hitch still there. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, we, it, it, it works. It work out, it, but, yeah, it works. You know, hey, if it works for you, then exactly. Shout out Nathan Bean. Yeah, Nathan <laughs> Bean. So, anyways, showed up to Dallas, six two, one fifty five, forward. Forward. And forward. Mm. I mean, I played forward in Seattle, so, and then I turned into a shooter, and, I mean. I got pretty good at it. So yeah, you did. Yeah. So became a shooter. Um, so like definitely thankful for like the progression that I made on the basketball side of things, like gaining weight, um, definitely like develop my mental toughness, I would say, but like still not quite like you know, love, like, like love for the game. Yeah. Like you, yeah. Yeah, definitely. definitely I can agree with that. that. So. Oh, but sorry, back, back yeah, to you. So, so you get kidnapped. How how'd you get kidnapped? Jamel just left you, or what? What happened? So after that, after that uh, first day of meeting the coach, okay. Um, I think we had, I don't remember if we had a practice that same day or the next day. Okay, we went through a whole weekend of just practice, and then we had a little showcase on Sunday. I think uh, he, 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 went, he wasn't there. He wasn't yeah. there. Yeah, I don't think he was there. Weeks after you. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't get there when yeah. I got there. But there was like a little showcase on Sunday. Mm. And so we were practicing from Friday to Sunday. I mean, Friday to Saturday, and then the games was on Sunday. Okay. So after that weekend, Jamel said he had a visit to Mississippi Valley. Mm. Right. So, yeah. Gotcha. So he, so he was like, just stay here? Yeah. He was, so he said, he said, you're going to stay with the coach while I go on this visit, and I'll be back to get you and take you back home. Oh, wow. So I'm like, okay. Like, I was because Jamel had an apartment there in Dallas. So yeah. I wasn't staying with the coach and the players. I was oh, staying at his apartment. I didn't know. That. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't know. Hmm. So after that, when he left, that's when I had to go and stay with the coach. Mm. And gotcha. I didn't know that you had to give up your phone mm. and all that. There was nothing. I thought, like, it was. What was your reaction when he said, give me your phone? I was like, excuse me? Yeah, I was like, I was like, why? And he's like, there was no phones allowed. And I was that's like, so scary. Buy in. Yeah. I was like, that's really what he told you. Just, yeah. He, he just wanted you to buy into this culture of just yeah. eat, sleep basketball. He said, yeah. He said the Patriots would do that. The New England Patriots. And he said that Jimmy Butler would do it every summer. You think someone told Aaron Hernandez, give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> come on now. Bill Maybe. Belichick. Come on now. <laughs> that, that. You guys could have, you guys could have got him at that time. Um, Rob Gronkowski, you think he's giving up? Come, I don't know. I would say, man. Man, you know, he got you there. You're in high school, you know. You're, you're, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you're still young. You're still babies. Yeah, impressionable. Yeah, yeah. I was only I, when I got there. I was only 17. Mm. So, so um, you really were kidnapped. Yeah. So, and, <laughs> and then I stayed there for a couple of days, and then. I was wondering where, when then like when I got my phone like that one time during the week, I mm -hmm. called Jamel. I'm like, "Yo, where are you at?" And he said, "Oh, bro, you're not you're not leaving." <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean I'm not leaving?" He's like, "Yeah, you're just you just need to stay there, get better, and you need to get an actual opportunity to go to college." That's wild. Yeah. And then when he did come back, he only came back because his lease was up move out of his apartment so he had to move his stuff did you help him yes oh my god <laughs> yes. you didn't want to hop in the trunk or anything and i told him i was like yourself. i told him i was like i don't want to be here you need to take me home he's like no you're not going here. and then the, the it, fact that he's telling yes, you yeah and then the coach said oh yeah you're not going <laughs> hey, you're, you're not going anywhere that's, that's how he talked that, that is you you legit were kidnapped yeah so i told like i was at the gym before okay so before the gym uh before jamel came back i was talking to him i was like so I know I'm supposed to, I'm not going to be here for quite long, uh, that much longer. Mm -hmm. So like, how am I, like, what is the process of me like doing this? He's like, what do you mean? You're not, you're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. I was like, what you, I was like, Jamel's coming back to get me in a couple of days. He's like, no, he's not coming back to get you. You're, Man, did you're, that, how did, how did you feel when he told you he's not going to get you? Did your heart sink to your stomach? Yeah, I was like, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why? I was like. How are you gonna tell me to come somewhere? I don't even have enough clothes for one. That's I only packed for a weekend. That's right. <laughs> so like, I don't have enough clothes. I don't have like anything. Dang. So once I actually Jabel did come back, I was like, dude, you like, why didn't you tell me that I was actually gonna stay here? Yeah. And like, instead of just like tricking me into being somewhere, and like I'm staying here for over a year now. Dang. And then a year turned into two. 
because what I was initially told, because that was a summer, that was a summer like we just graduated, and he okay. said by January you were gonna have a scholarship to go to college. Sold you a dream. Sold me a dream, and I was like, okay, I can, I can withstand you know a couple months here to get better, and then go to college in January. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna get you D1. I was like, All that's right. the dream. That's every kid's dream. Division one basketball. Exactly. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. January came. <laughs> and left. Uh, and oh, came and left, and, and left. And nothing happened. Shoot, kind of, kind of to just get to, because I do want this to be more about you. Oh. It's your birthday, boy. Thank but, you, man. What was y'all's first interaction meeting each other? Were you guys yeah. quiet around each other, or he was very quiet? And no, yeah, I could see you being very that. antisocial. No, definitely quiet at the Because I definitely had to warm you up before we became. Really? Oh yeah. I feel like I was pretty like. Comfortable and stuff, but you know, we, yeah. you can we, tell we, you, you can yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. Stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll spill um, our beans. No, I do remember the first time like meeting Jemiah and like the other teammates. So, me and my dad got to the gym like whatever time we were supposed shout to Shout out Frank, shout out, shout out the OG, mom's <laughs> Frank. <sure>. Um, <laughs> Yeah, shout out Frank. <laughs> Just met him today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He learned um, something. Yeah, so we were at the gym waiting for the rest of the guys to come. Jemiah showed up with uh, two, James, and I don't even remember who else was in the house at the time. Uh, uh, Mike. Mike, James and Mike. Mike Lady? Yeah. No, nah, it was oh, like different. Mike. Man, I was about to cook. Mike from Canada. Okay. Yeah. Shout out Mike. Okay. Um, yeah, so they showed up and, I mean, uh, Jemiah's. He, a big guy dude, big you know, guy james was like six eight like, okay i don't even know how much he was at that time but at least he, had, he wasn't for sure yeah he was over maybe. 200 so i had some monsters in the gym yeah, no, absolutely and i'm like six two one fifty five i'm like hey guys <laughs> <laughs> can i <laughs> play <laughs> pass me the ball I'm yeah like all that stuff so, that's awesome no nah, but we like we were there for eight hours <laughs> clocked in a full shift at that la fitness we were doing basketball drills Went to the weight room, did weight stuff, burnout stuff, like no arms, like back to the gym, doing more stuff mm -hmm. on the court. Like it was like, that was every it day. It was literally a full, like that summer was like a full time job inside of LA Fitness. That was a, that was every day though. Yeah. Man. There'll be like times where we go at 9 a.m. and wouldn't come back until 8 p.m. Yeah, bro. Okay. Well, let me ask you, what was your impression first meeting Zeke? Honestly, I didn't. Did you think he could hoop or did you not think he could hoop? Honestly, ah, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. I was like, I was like, what is this guy doing here? <laughs> but like at the like, then when I actually saw him play, like it was more. He sh he showed he could actually hoop, but oh he, yeah, he he would outsmart you playing. Exactly. I was I was gonna hype you up on that real quick. So the difference with you, like obviously you don't do nothing flashy, nothing crazy, but your IQ is through the roof. Appreciate like with basketball, like you know when to cut, you know when to flare you know screens all that yeah. a lot of kids nowadays don't do any of that you know they yeah. just yeah. a couple dribbles yeah iso iso hezzy hezzy shout out iso Ito. um <laughs> <laughs> sorry I had, to get, I had to get my slug in there um but just stuff like that it, and it, it honestly i'll be real it opened up my game because well I'll, we'll get into sterling but when just me growing up i was always the iso dribble dribble get do whatever i want player yeah but you know getting to college yeah, it's a bro, whole different ball game. The guy that scores, you know, twenty five a game. Like shout out to my boy here, but yeah. or whatever you did, average. But like, and there's like, there's no problem with that. Like, there's not. I there's so much. It, yeah. There's so much to the game. That's yeah. I definitely found my niche in the game was shooting and like doing stuff that, like, wasn't always counted on the stats, like screens. Like, yeah. Like knowing like hockey where, assists, like, stuff open. like that. Yeah, like knowing where to be open, like how to get your teammates open, and like that sounds like a really boring. You know role to play and like sometimes it was but um no i got definitely good at the things that i was good at and like our coach would always say that like find your role on the team and like exactly find what you're good at and i figured it out and it wasn't always the most glorious role but i mean I, you, you, yeah. I could score if i needed to but like i was definitely not iso like yeah like i mean i was like, i was trying to make people touch the ground was, man. It was the ankle man you know yeah, yeah. after a bad. while after a while of he being there though he did like kind of develop more of an iso game no, i think no that first couple shout weeks out kyle anderson I, <laughs> those first couple weeks that were tough i remember we had to do this drill where you had to get three consecutive stops in a row do you remember that drill yeah. that first time? yeah that and i was guarding him six eight two hundred something and then this like scoring wing from canada who was like a solid hooper yeah and i was getting 
Cooked. I, I mean, I was probably like 20 times on defense in a row. Damn. Like I, Those are know, the worst it, drills. It was it was embarrassing. I, like, they were feeling – like, I could tell they were feeling bad. They were starting to take it easy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, like all that stuff. So, I can't lie. I was getting cooked. But, you know, 6'2", 150 against. Right. I, was, I was the smallest guy in the house at the time. Imagine being 5'7". Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> JKJ. Yeah. 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 So – yeah, no, definitely developed my game though a lot. Like, so I'm very thankful for it. Yeah, that aspect that I did get a lot better, but you know, there's always a but. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's get into how we all three met. Yeah, man. Sterling College in Sterling, Kansas, yeah, a man. nice little NAIA up yeah. in uh, them cornfields. Central Kansas. Central Kansas, yeah. man. Um, so I entered Sterling my sophomore year. Jamai got me a tryout there. I, uh, I guess, Mister. Jaderson, Coach Jaderson, and Mr. Beam liked my performance. And uh, they said, hey, let's get you up here in the fall. And I was like, you know, yeah, Jemiah's here. I'm comfortable. Yeah. Uh, obviously, got homesick first two weeks because I was just like, bro, where am I at? We got a, we got a Sonic and a Dollar General. That's it. <laughs> like, this <laughs> is. Dos Amigos. Well, Dos, we, we, well I didn't even we know. Didn't, we didn't even know that. Yeah. Till, I didn't even know about Dos Amigos till, uh like, end of sophomore. We didn't, yeah. we didn't really leave. Yeah, the we didn't really leave campus. Uh, so, just, so yeah, so I go, I go to Sterling, and I'm just like, man, like this place sucks. Like literally, it just there's just nothing out there. Literally nothing. Yeah. I mean, what was Lions or Hutchinson or yeah. where you had to go to go yeah. see something cool? Yeah. But um, no. So Jemai gets me up there. Pretty happy to be there. Um, my first year, uh. Literally, I think it was like the second, third open gym. My foot just completely went like the wrong way, and uh, I fractured that bad boy pretty nice. So remember At the start of your time in Sterling? Yeah. Wait, first I six months I was that. in a boot. Yeah, but I didn't know you injured at Sterling. Yeah, I don't know how oh. either. Oh. So season, shout out season. Uh, she checked yeah. it out and she was like, "Yeah, you're gonna smoke, buddy." Yeah. Yikes. So that that stung because obviously that's even more like to that mental aspect of, oh man, I've worked so hard to get in this position and now I can't even, like now I feel like I'm just back at the bottom again. But like I said, Jaderson and Bean liked me a lot. So that kind of helped, you know. Okay. But, um, you know, obviously I was following Jemai around everywhere. He was giving me the tours, all that fun stuff. Uh, kind of disappeared here and there. And then uh, I met my RA. Man, it was Mr. Ezekiel Lacey. Someone, we had to get those scholarships like one way or another. Oh yeah, like, school was getting paid for. Yeah, one but my first thought was like, <laughs> R- <laughs> <laughs> I said R A. You R- think I'm a, you think I'm a listening? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you know, man. if you know me, you know me. So uh, I'm I'm kind of out there, very loud. Um, Zeke is very calm and collective and just level headed. So uh, we we butted heads a little bit. Um, I remember one time specifically, Miss uh, Thomas. Okay. Remember when he was getting kicked out of like, I get he wasn't getting kicked out, but they were trying to move him out of their dorm, and he tried to yeah. move into my dorm. Yeah. And I was just like, no. I forgot about that. I was like, no, bro. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, and it really affected our friendship because we were cool, <laughs> but it really affected our friendship because I was just yeah. like, because I was happy because I had a whole side to myself because you know, oh yeah, four people and. Uh, one it was like one room with like two sides but like one side had yeah. And stuff. yeah so i was telling zeke like hey bro you're the ra kick him out now was i coming at him kind of <laughs> kind of wrong probably you, you, you know you had your itinerary you had yeah the, yeah yeah but i was time. and zeke was just like hold on now let's let's figure this out and i don't even think i mean thomas i think left after that i think he did but, was that the first semester yeah yeah yeah, yeah but but no, uh, and then after that, uh, saw he was on the basketball team, uh, saw his beautiful shot, and I was like, hey, because when I shot, I had a hitch in my shot. Like, uh, I just, it wasn't bad, but you, you could just, yeah, you know, it had its days. And uh, I always told Zeke, like, hey, help me out, like, get my shot right. And, uh, man, the amount of times I would I would annoy this man or bug him, just really trying to pick out his brain and always went back to hitching the shot after because yeah. i was just so impatient and we put some good work in at the start of your senior year though oh, i'd yeah. stop playing that year 
and which hurt my, which broke my heart broke honest, my heart i honestly wish that you would yeah kept playing. i don't i'm glad I, that i stopped it was it was the right decision for me i was it was like putting I, the dog down it was <laughs> yeah it was, you know what i mean like yeah i was just i couldn't do it anymore i was how did you feel after that though like were you just like man like no, i was a relief yeah that like, i was bas- gonna say basketball became a stressor and not a stress relief a, and it exactly. wasn't fun anymore and i was like i said just stressed all the time like everything yeah. about it was like literally infuriating like anything that had to do with a ball not even the ball just like practice the program and oh the yeah way that i mean it was a t- we did go through some tough times regardless i mean just, so it was i it was the right decision for me to stop playing at the end of junior year but you know i missed playing with y'all like watching the games i was like I was definitely in the stands. Yeah, yeah, brother. I was definitely in the stands being loud with my boy Matt Hart. Shout out Matt Hart. He's going to be mad when he sees it. Hey, UFC, out, UFC coming to you. Shout out to the bigger bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, it was definitely time to stop. But yeah, we put some good. Oh, time, yeah. Trying to get your shot right. And, you know, you went back to it. it was, we didn't have enough time, but it looked good for a while. Yeah, it felt, it felt cool. Yeah, it looked good. It, it did but, look good. But that's why I wish, honestly, like I would have done, like, like, Literally, when I graduated college, it was so hard to, like, I did anything and everything to avoid anything with basketball. Yeah. Like, and it, it was just, like, I wish I could have, because it wasn't fun. It, it wasn't fun at all for, for us two. I mean, I'm sure you, for you, it was great. Because, you know, Tell they said, life. they said, feed Jamile. <laughs> but coach, I'm open. Feed Jamile. <laughs> jab step. Jab step, like, not, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> But no, for me, like, it really did, like, defeat me mentally. Because I was just like, bro, I don't know what else you want me to do. You tell me I'm I'm doing this right, I'm doing that right. The team loves me. Because yeah. I was, me and him were captains for the senior. Point guard. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I mean, I was the one who everyone, you know, if they yeah. needed to complain or something, both sides talked. Because, yeah. you know, let's be real. Our sides in Kansas was definitely a very weird time like uh nobody would listen to me yeah at all it was so weird like he's literally our leading scorer and stuff but everyone wants to listen to the small little hispanic on the team but let's be real we had a a dividing between our team we had the black players you know wanting to be just in the with them and we had the white players just wanting to be with them knowing me i'm like nah we meshing this shit up yeah you know what i mean so luckily we did that but it was kind of too late at the time to where senior yeah oh i guess i can't speak to that i wasn't yeah we just we had so many team uh, meetings at my house and stuff really? yeah I there was a lot know that. it was a lot oh. and it was just us like you know yeah. venting i mean shout out to y'all for no shout out me yeah shout, shout out, out to you for they they wouldn't trying to coordinate that and appreciate like it. E, the boys right they wouldn't listen to me at all it was so yeah. weird they wouldn't listen to me at all i tried to tell them something nobody would listen to me hmm. i think it's just his demeanor when he presents a message like it's it's just like like it's not bad it's just like so nonchalant like me i'm like hmm. I'm trying to like, I don't even take know, your soul. I don't even know how I would. I would just say, "Hey, we just need to do this and do this and do that." They're like, "Shut up, Jeremiah! Shut up!" <laughs> like, nobody, nobody would just listen to me, bro. Like, okay. I just feel like I don't know what kind of tone I was using at the time because I don't remember. But probably similar to what you're doing right now. Yeah, I mean, you're like, like you, you "Hey can, team, yeah, you we like that all the time. <laughs> hey team, if we do this, we're gonna win." Okay, Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. man, forget what he's talking about. Yeah. What, you gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> what you gotta say here. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, what were we talking about? How we met? Yeah, yeah. Sophomore year. Sophomore came year. In, came to me with your problems. You know, I had to defend myself a little bit here, you know, uh, to the people. I went through the process that I was supposed to, and I, I did what I was supposed to, and it wasn't quick enough for you. You didn't get the results you wanted quick enough. So I don't think I got him that year. <laughs> but he left, so it worked out in the end. Oh yeah. But oh like, yeah. But I had some know, I had neighbors was, there that was, were kinda there was, wild. There was more going on. And at the end of the day, you know I had um, to think I had to think there's just so much you can control. I don't have, yeah, I don't yeah. have a problem being the villain, but like also like I had been the villain with that. I don't I mean you probably were asleep for this, but there was one night they were up yelling in the room next door. Really? Till like two, three AM and like you shut that down i was so mad <laughs> you induced i D? went over there and and yelled them yelled at them like yo it's 3 a.m these like you remember it was like a bunch of fo- i don't know if you remember the basement it was a bunch of football guys yeah it was like start of the year like they had practice like five man practice the next day i'm like yo like this is od like we need to stop yeah so everyone finally went to bed but like you know 
it just is with you know i'm not trying to be you know the, the villain the villain all the time like if i need to oh man i is, should but i mean i should have been the ra i, I don't <laughs> that, that's what makes me mad these two both got ra and i swear he was never in his dorm no, which is the crazy part and i i applied for ra and i thought like yeah after that first year, I, only, I pulled up in a in a in a tank with some basketball <laughs> shorts you know for an fresh, interview <laughs> freshly yeah yeah and they 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 loved me i thought and then i was like oh i didn't get it yeah <laughs> dude i'm I, about to be a demon now <laughs> <laughs> i only got the job because of finn i mean we needed another ra that year yeah they, to like you know finn fill just, a spot, so. yeah finn just told me to apply and, yeah it must yeah. be nice more scholarship money cool yeah it wasn't even more like that well i did get you got a free room you get a free room out of that and like stipend for yeah but it was like 50 dollars stipend i thought i thought it was going to be more than that because like i thought it was actually going to be like you get money in your pocket i think it was like 300 a semester but like that's how much it cost for the room for like that semester like it's a lot to explain but like you basically broke even with the stipend yeah Mm. so i mean i wasn't getting any money i was like still got a free room i know but still it wasn't really worth it to me brother i didn't get a free room but it was i had a fat scholarship so it was covered anyway again brother must be nice (laughs) i'm saying it's like like, must be nice i'm just i'm just saying you got the biggest scholarship on the team and then you get a free room i would have gave it to you honestly (laughs) if i would have known i would have gave it to you thanks bro sadly that's not shout out jemiah man i'm in some good school debt I posted that yesterday. You saw. Yeah, that was, that was I posted my uh, my senior highlight. year highlights, <laughs> <laughs> and like I saw the the first title was uh, "Moments I Will Cherish Forever," you know, a yeah. rod out type of yeah. thing. And then I'm looking at it because it Facebook popped up. It was like three years ago. This memory. It's crazy. I get that title. I'm like, well, now I'm in debt. <laughs> <laughs> it really wasn't worth it, guys. Yeah. Like I, if, like it's. I mean, I'm ha- obviously I'm happy I've met people like you and, you know, Thanks, I'll, you know, shout out the Briars and Commies, I guess. Um, no, I'll shout them out. But just stuff like that. But like at what cost, you know, like I mean, you got your degree. Yeah, but I'm not even that's the crazy thing. Like nowadays, you don't really need, need that for your degree. job. You didn't No, I didn't know. It was uh-uh. more, I mean, it's the, it's a plus to have the degree. Yeah, it's def- yeah. it definitely puts you in a better position. Okay. Don't get me wrong, but like you can still, like I said, get your foot in the door type thing to yeah. get you up. Because that's what I've seen a lot of people in our job industry. And um, yeah, it just, I mean, the debt definitely does stress me. Like that's just something that's, you know, something. It just, to me, I'm someone who doesn't like owing anybody or anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like credit cards, yeah. all my stuff is all zero, zero, zero. Like I always pay that. Pay it off right away. All, right away. Got like. To yeah yeah buddy yeah. <laughs> let your credit card debt acquire yeah i'm paying, <laughs> off. I'm paying it off All right, right. Now. in the arms <laughs> of yeah yeah that's not even that's yeah, that's a tough one uh, but yeah uh i would i do want to say i enjoyed playing with you so uh me and me and that boy zeke were on the development team <laughs> It was a it was a tough couple of it was it didn't make sense and no. you would think Jemiah would be the backbone and help it did that. anywho I literally did anywho uh, but we had a good time <laughs> what, we we actually it? got to play freely yeah. we got to you know yeah. it, it felt meaningful like we see these guys and they look depressed like well besides yeah, Jemiah because he's yeah. the only one who scored I was losing except but you were you got yours I mean yeah but I w- I wasn't getting anything out of it by losing well that was anyway your- <laughs> the only highlights that I have on my phone. Our assist. Ooh, okay. You remember? Okay. You remember which game? Southwestern. Southwestern. Yes, sir. Southwestern. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm glad we got Sorry, those bro. memories. <laughs> I got a. I got a highlight. We with the CYO. Yeah. I still an have assist? that video. Yeah. Mm, I only have. Like Wait, he gave shots. you an assist, or you gave no, him? I gave him an assist. That's a rare clip. We got to get that. I only have a couple of highlights from CYM, and I is was it at the? It was like at when a, we ran our showcases at that. No, winter? it was Weatherford. Oh. Weatherford. Oh, I, I definitely haven't seen that. Then you might have to. Yeah, I was, I'll pull it up for you. Yeah. Okay. Didn't even know. Yeah. Well, I mean, now we're here, no. reunited. Made it out. That's how you know our friendship is is pure. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> he he good. didn't he didn't like me for a while when we first what? met. Yeah, you didn't remember when we first this met. This guy <laughs> thought he was playing a funny prank on me, like hid my clothes around the apartment. That's not I, cool. I, I, I was found, bored, bro. I yeah. found, <laughs> that, that, that's a valid reason, though. Like, 
So I you guys were seventeen. I found most of them. I, I didn't find one of them, and it was like a couple of days. I was like, bro, like where is it? And no, Jamal would be like, <laughs> like just, <laughs> just standing there, not saying anything, looking at you. He's like, you know, it's where we, I don't even know what you were saying, where it was, but something stupid that just made me so mad. And eventually, I was like, bro, where is it? And he walked away from me. On the back of the neck. What? <laughs> he, he, he turned around, slapped me on the back of the neck. I'm like, bro, where is it? And then he finally showed us to me. We were up for What two. a bully. Yeah, like for what? What a bully. For man, what? I was bored, man. I had nothing to do. For what? He told us to read. I said, I don't want to read. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> he said, read a book. I said, I don't want to read a book. Yeah, bro. So, you know, we're, we're cool, though. It's, yeah. I mean, obviously, we're here now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, but, it was definitely some good time sprinkled in there, you know. Yeah, like that time where we got in trouble for Mike sneaking out. Is that Canada Mike? Yeah, Canada I keep Mike. thinking of Mike Lakey, yeah, and it's the right. funniest it's thing. Tough. We we weren't there for Mike Lakey. He he got there the year we left. Man, so we we missed him, but you know, <laughs> we, had, we had enough time with him at a Sterling. Oh, Park. we sure did. We had enough time with him, dude. I, I, low key, I missed Mike. He was funny, bro. Funny dude. Like we. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Mike Lake. <laughs> bro was literally funny, bro. I can I I miss those days, bro. Was he your roommate? Yeah. For what for year? Like senior year. Yeah, he was, oh, he was mine. He was mine. My first yeah. year. Yeah, first. Year. We went at the same time. It was his freshman year on my sophomore year. And he was Reese Holder's uh junior year. Shout yeah, he stole Reese from me. <laughs> I remember when I told Reese cuz he was an RA, so if you got to be with an RA, you got your room free too. I think you got something half, like half off. Yeah, yeah. Well, you just something paid like that. the rate for like four people, but it was only two. Of them. Ex- yes, so exactly. And I remember so. I was trying to talk to Mr. Reese. I said, "Hey, let me be your roommate." He's and he he. I swear he told me like maybe, you know, Reese really Sounds short. Like a Reese response. Yeah. Maybe. Are you still talking? You were his nemesis. So yeah, weird. We bro, we traveled with each other all the time, driving back to Kansas yeah. or going oh, from yeah. Kansas. It was just us two. You know, yeah. It's just it's just your personality, bro. Like, some people can't hang. Like you said, we butt heads. I don't think we ever butt heads. I just in the beginning. I just. I remember I mean, having okay, some heated. Okay, so he had beef with me. Apparently, I never. Really oh had yeah. Beef with him. I just, mean, but not like basketball wise or stuff yeah. like that. Just as an RA, that was the only time I had beef with Zeke. But like not I as wasn't a person. Doing my job, but yeah, but like as like a person, I liked you. But except, RA, except for when we were playing ping pong, because it was. Boy, if you don't get was, shit. Was, <laughs> hey, Jamal, you, you better hit? tell, boy. You better tell. I, show them how you hit like this with your with your backhand guiding the. <laughs> Man, you better tell my cook. He still does that. I cook now. Not worried about him though. We had some good games. We had some. Bro, I would. We had some good games. Destroy you in ping pong. He's now. just he's just putting on for the camera, but we had some good games. I would destroy he, this man. What would you tell yourself whenever I was going up on you? Hey yo, what? Stay <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> You're right, my bad. Pause. <laughs> what do you mean? When I was running up the score, you know what I'm saying? When I was Man, this is this he, this right. is really foreign to me right now because my, my say, memory is really hazy. He would say, stay disciplined. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to check yourself because Still to this day. To this day. I mean And I cook. We're not worried. he would be cheating. Too bad there's Yeah, I was about I to say. Believe, I do believe that about him. He'd be cheating. He would cheat, but you know what Jemai's excuse is with ping pong? No, that I'm too head. strong. <laughs> that was when I first started, bro. You would hit it over the table. Yeah, because like I would like barely I'm too strong. Like I would barely tap and it would go over the table. It's like, oh, you don't have the best reach for this. Like I have a little reach, so it's like you know, it's I'm literally playing actual tennis on that table, and this man is actually playing. Looky, doo-doo. looky. You got the. Oh, I got a lot better. Yeah. He did. He did. I will give him that. Respect. He did. He's like Respect. seventh place in our bracket out of like ten. Wait, what? Yeah, that's who's, not bad. Who's better than me? Apparently, me. six other people. Yeah. If you're in seventh. No, because who's better than me, bro? I mean, we could talk about it off camera, but <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, what kind of paddles y'all got? The nice ones with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones? Oh, they nice. They nice. Ones? They treat us good. They treat it. No, no I prison paddles. You preferred the prison paddles. I did prefer, prefer the yeah. prison paddles. So. You did, you did what you had to do. Yeah, now, they're, now they're padded. We got the paddles. Those yeah, good. Yeah. Spin, you don't put no spin, though. You just. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Boy. Okay. Boy, I'm telling you, you ain't ready. Like I might really baptize you. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't, I haven't been playing. I can't lie to you. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I definitely would cook. I'll keep up. It would be a good game. Jamal, you hear this oh, good? Man. Yeah, I was about to say, appreciate it, bro. I'm on your side, E. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. Well, it's your show. obviously, today is your day. My birthday, yeah. How do you feel? It's not crazy. You feel older, wiser. Let me just say that I'm a whole father. 
You are dead. I'm not anywhere close. Not to yet. That. Not that you know. Not anywhere close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dad. Shout out to all the dads out there. Appreciate it. Shout out to all the dads, but that's that's not where I need to be right now. You feel me? Anyways, I have been an avid follower of the broadcast. Oh yeah, he's since been since day one. Since day since, one supporter. Since, day- since the yes, yes sir. Since the the studio the days. Live stream. Oh with, yeah, with Nick yeah. Price on YouTube. Shout out. Nikki man P. shout out your boy nikki p man shout, shout out, out nikki, boy, p. nikki p ufc 299 parlays locked in yep i feel like i was the only one commenting on that live stream and maybe i was maybe i wasn't you oh know? you definitely were is it who's, who's to say but I, <laughs> it, it was a viewing of four <laughs> <laughs> zeke was off three <laughs> <laughs> three different tablets Bree was one <laughs> <laughs> nah but uh he was always like you know it'd be great to have you on the broadcast one time i'm like oh yeah, yeah. like that would be cool. Like, honestly, not thinking it was going to happen anytime soon. But, I mean, here we year are. year later. One, one year in. Like, one year right anniversary now. was March 1st. Yeah, I've kept going with it. Obviously, you know, yeah. trial and tribulation. But I've, to, I've kept it. A couple co-hosts. Go- yeah, a couple co-hosts. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> but, That's crazy. Nah, but no, like, like, obviously, I wish we, like, I love what we're doing for yeah. this episode. But, like, you guys don't know the good sports knowledge that Deke, which we'll probably do it down the future no, it's, you know it's pretty service i'm gonna be honest i don't watch sports like you oh yeah i'm a sports just, fanatic yeah i just you know highlights on twitter and stuff like, yeah outside of that i don't know i just like watching like here and there and like you know i like watching players and like the way they play mm-hmm. moves they make stuff like that but just their stories stuff like that yeah but honestly i don't <clears throat> yeah i don't watch a lot of live sports yeah so but i, I do I, I do appreciate you because you always were the in the beginning obviously because when you do something like this you know you're always worried like you how people think yeah. blah, blah blah but you always were that feedback that like helped me get through like okay i'm just doing this for fun like yeah. you know i if i get paid doing this you know obviously that's yeah. that's cool too but like this is just a hobby it's fun yeah you know i get to talk to my boys about sports Whatever. our our journey together yeah so i mean that's yeah. why i've just capped at it i mean now with 37 episodes yeah. in it's crazy so yeah didn't think i would be here year one but here we are we made it 100 we got like 120 subs yeah, you, know, we, you know i mean came in with no itinerary we just exactly got, i mean my first ready. video was uh pokemon opening packs <laughs> i do miss those <laughs> when days. i pulled the charizard are you still doing that? oh yeah i pulled a wimby Char- like i pulled a wimby oh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago right. sold it for 500 at a card yeah. show cash fire 500 nice that's, that's huge actually. that's crazy yeah, that's just for huge. some cardboard that's you, John. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was hyped. I'm going to start opening packs. Hey. Take Rylan with you. I'm just kidding. No, di- no seriously. <laughs> My little brother. Uh, he a demon. Yeah. But, uh. Okay. Yeah. Here but, we are. We're doing it. Oh, yeah. Big. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I hope we can keep connecting and doing this now that we know this is your hood. So. Yeah, I mean, I'll be out here every every so often. Maybe one day I'll be in Austin, a little bit closer. To I don't home. think you're I, ready for Austin. I man. can make it to the studio, see how it's developed the next time I'm in town. You yeah, know, who knows what what you'll have up on the walls then? But yeah, so you always cool got decorations. It's you always got every week. Yeah, you always got a place yeah. to stay in Austin. So oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I got a three bedroom. Okay. So right. if you want, that would be fine too. So it don't it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said i got the floor yeah, nah but kind of to close it out yeah, absolutely. can i get my uh my little ufc all that fun do stuff your, do your outro bro so outro time we got jake paul versus mike tyson coming up to me i was talking to my people i said it's a win-win for mike tyson he wins he shuts down this paul stuff and he makes he still gets money you know what i mean if he loses it makes paul look even worse but Tyson still gets paid. Like, it's a win-win for Tyson regardless. So I see why he took it. But at the same time, it's just, I, I don't know. I it, Like I said, I, I talked about last week, the, the Paul fighting has just, the hype it had in the beginning has just took a horrible turn really? since then. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, his fights are free now. Like, they're not even, <laughs> yeah. Like, they're not even pay-per-view. or oh, wow. Yeah. And I remember some of them, he's only going to, like, capacities with like 400 people in the stands like nothing crazy like how he was in the beginning like popping like that so why is he why is he like doing that limiting himself to just that i really don't know i really just think people don't take him as serious because he's 
Because I, I guess like because everybody says he's fighting amateur fighters, right? He's fighting amateur fighters or dudes forty and over. Yeah. Just you know. So I mean, now he's fighting Mike Tyson, who Mike I think Tyson's is about like crazy. fifty-seven. Yeah, that's crazy. But if Tyson can do it. Man. I mean, I saw a video not long ago of him throwing some punches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he still got that. But it's like, can he absorb it? You know what I mean? That's the difference. Like, he can deliver, but can he absorb it now? Like, yeah. he, he could back in the day. When he bit that dude's ear off. Yeah, Holyfield. But, Tragic. And then we have a nice UFC 299 card coming up. We got Cheeto versus O'Malley. I've been waiting for this card for months and months. And I'm going to give my predictions. I got O'Malley winning in the main event co-main event i got ben wall um below that i have gilbert burns winning or no kevin holland is gonna win his fight and then i got gilbert burns and then uh oh, i'm brain farting oh and then i got peter yawn so lock those in for your parlays today let's get it none of those names mean anything to me but <laughs> locking aren't lock- you russian <laughs> i you were russian uh, um <laughs> anywho but yeah a solid ufc 299 card coming up then we got 300 and like two weeks after so ufc's doing a big i wish you were down with me because like i got him into it you would be watching it religiously with me so. i watch with some friends out in seattle but like yeah but they're not me it's just not <laughs> it, it, it don't hit the same yeah, yeah you can go to our watch parties that would be i mean yeah one day it don't hit the same maybe one day but um but yeah and then kind of to wrap it up i i want to say miss caitlin clark Breaking uh, Colin. breaking NCAA women's and men's record for most career points in uh NCAA history. Yeah, yeah, love yeah. it, especially on Women's International Day, yeah. right? Women's International Day. I think it was, was it recently. Yesterday. Might have been yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> we were watching highlights on the TV Sports Center last night. My mom saw her hooping, and she was like, "Who is that girl? Like, she looks oh yeah." Good. I'm like. Let me tell you. Let me, mama, let me tell you like, something. actually different. Yeah. So, I mean. It's great what she's doing for women's hoops. Yeah, people who don't know about sports are catching notice. My mom is one of those people who doesn't know much about sports. It's definitely blown the men's basketball yeah. out the out the waters for sure. I mean, they're they're going crazy. But don't get me wrong. U of H, about to get that natty. Yeah? Yes, sir. You're looking nice this year? Oh, yeah. Number one in the nation for yeah. a reason. Best defense. Okay. You know. Coach Sampson knows what he's doing at U of H, baby. Take your word for it. So, yeah, you're going to see it. Yeah. Make sure to lock that down, those brackets coming up. I mean, it's right around the corner, too. Yeah. So, true. yeah. But it kind of wraps it up right yeah. there, boys. Yeah, man. You got any shout outs you want to say? Or shout out Aunt G, of course. Shout out, shout out my auntie. Yeah, shout, shout out Aunt G. Shout out all my family out here in Brookshire. Help me, you know, celebrate. Me hang out. Yeah, celebrating me. Yeah, first birthday I've spent out here in Brookshire. So, Shout out to everyone that's going to pop I up. I hope you black out, man. I really do. No, no, no I'm, I'm trying to do that. I've been <laughs> trying to get this man a drink for it was years. It was the circumstances in... He said, you ain't got no Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> it was the circumstances in Kansas. If I was in an RA that last year... Man, there was a whole bunch of RAs doing that. I but, know. <laughs> I, that's what I was saying. He's the only one with a halo, him and Reese. But like, you had to think about the next year I stayed on campus and was a RD. I was a resident director. And like, how's that going to look if I'm... It would look so cool. No, bro, I could have sworn I could have sworn some of them already have families with who. I don't know who they were, but they had like, like they definitely lived with each other. Yeah. They were both no. RAs and then had like a family. And I hear what you're saying. And I was it's, like, come it, on, it's now. a different. It's a different. Things is that math ain't math. And no, it's it's too much to explain. We're on the outcome, yeah, 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 yeah. I want you know let the people go. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, shout out to my family out here. Shout out to my boys coming out. You know, thank you for making it out this way for my birthday. Much yeah. appreciated. Yeah. Um, shout out to the people back home in Seattle. Uh, Kirk yeah, Cobain, man. man. Shout out Kirk Cobain. That's you, man. <laughs> that's you. Yeah, that's about it, though. What about you, Mister Jeremiah? It's good to have you back. Yeah, hopefully I can come back. You know. <laughs> but no nah, no no shout outs for me man okay um, anyways but yeah okay. thank you guys again yeah. e great to see you man uh okay. continue to you know all the blessings all that fun stuff for you you know you're a man of god i saw that episode a couple episodes ago ah oh, man cruz hey. cruz was speaking to yeah. me man i have never felt that way oh um, yeah, that was an awesome episode to watch shout sure. out cruz man yeah. he, he actually in the h okay um yeah, I know. Appreciate you again, man. Um, really do uh, love our friendship, and uh, it's good to see like we're still all, like yeah, that, man. yeah. 
Much love to you. Absolutely. Much love to you. Appreciate it, yeah. So, shout out Sterling. Thanks for having That's me. That's the only shout out I'll give Sterling, <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> but, no, uh, thank you guys again. Episode 37 of the broadcast. We'll be back at it like a crack addict. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys.